Hey everybody, it's John, your personal tax consultant with a degree in accounting. We're talking about taxable interest and dividends. Now, if you received a 1099 INT or a 1099 DIV, this represents the income that you receive from either interest or dividends. Now, you're going to receive interest from any savings account, money market account, or even a mutual fund interest bearing account, and it all needs to be reported as ordinary income. Now there are a few mutual funds that were set up as tax incentives, uh, making the interest you receive on them tax exempt. Now although you won't be taxed on the amount, you do need to include it in this portion of the income section because it's going to affect your other deduction levels further on. Moving on to dividends. Dividends are typically quarterly payouts that you'll receive from a company's stock or a mutual fund that you own, and they also are treated as ordinary income. That is unless they're qualified dividends. Now in the 1099 DIV, it will be separated out on which are ordinary and which are qualified. So the difference between ordinary and qualified is simply the tax rate that's applied to them. Ordinary dividends treated as ordinary income and the normal tax rates apply. Qualified dividends are usually taxed at a flat 15% rate. Thanks for watching. For other tax related videos, feel free to follow the link below or any of the links above. And be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any requests or suggestions, send us an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks.